Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Geminis. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And then I'll pull you a card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. I hope I didn't have it all up here where you couldn't see. <laughs> Let me pull it back a little. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone who is stopping by. I thank you so very much. I am so very grateful. So let's see what messages we have for you, Gemini. Guys, please take what resonates. Leave what does not. Always know that I send these messages to you from my heart to your heart always, okay? So... Let's see what we have for you. Jim. So Gemini, this is for you. You got the Princess of Pentacles. You got good news about financial matters not too long ago or maybe currently. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, I don't know if you're learning how to handle the money or if this is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment. Whoever that is, they know how to handle the money. You got the Ten of Swords. What's going on? This is some type of ending. These are thoughts that are, what's going on with you, Gemini? You having some serious, serious, serious negative thoughts and endings and what is going on? You got the high priestess. You feel like your intuition is a thing of the past or did you start listening to your intuition not too long ago? You got the high priestess, baby. That's in the past. You got the three of wands. Whatever is going on, babies, look, you will be fine, okay? Just take a deep breath. We got the three of wands. Your plans are expanding. But what plans is it? Let's see. We got the prince of swords. You're going through a shift in your environment right now. Something is shifting with you. You're very focused and things are happening very fast. You got the Prince of Swords. And you got the Hangman. Because of this negative energy that's below you here, you're feeling stuck like you can't move. Don't give anybody that power, babies. Take your power back. With love, of course. Okay? And integrity. And always settle with the right intention. We got the Six of Swords. Things are going to start calming down soon. You know, we all go through upsets, you know. But I don't know if it had anything to do with this Queen of Pentacles. This Virgo Taurus or this Capricorn. But we got the King of Wands here. That's a, a Leo. An Aries. Or a Sagittarius. It's bringing some kind of calmness to your environment. Or did you just take charge of something? Is that why you're starting to feel calm? Now, you got the King of Swords, which is you. You need to communicate clearly with someone. This is a brilliant energy. Gemini, that's you. What's going on with you and the King of Wands, eh, Gemini? This is from the past. You got the Six of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on here, babies? You're thinking about the past, it's not the right time, okay? We got a Mercury retrograde, we don't want to think about the past. You think about the past, the past can come back for some reason, even if you don't think about it, okay? It happened to me just a couple of days ago, all right? My past, I was like, what the heck? 
So, I, you know, be nice and I got I got to come live and tell you the story. But anyway, so you got the six of cups. Don't be thinking about the past. You hear me? It's possible it comes back. This past has knocked you down a few times and you've gotten back up each time. I got the nine of um, the nine of wands. And then we got the Nine of Cups. Oh, no, Gemini. Oh, no. It looks like your wishes might be coming true. Whichever way you want it. Whichever way you want it, it can happen. But if you don't want that past to come back, you better change your thoughts. Ah, remember you had your wishes coming true. You need to use your intuition. You were given that gift and you need to use it. All right, if you... Your wishes coming true. Everything seems good. Your dreams. But then you got the five of pentacles. You need to pay attention. You need to pay attention to the details. It's slow and coming. Pay attention. Use your intuition. Finances are going to straighten out. You got the five of pentacles, you got the prince of pentacles, and you got the princess of cups. Use your intuition. You got the mindset of lack right now in regards to finances. You're being, you need to pay attention to the details. Everything and everything will work over where the finances are concerned, okay? Whatever it is that you're worried about. It seems like there are two things here. It seems like it's something about the heart and it's something where finances are concerned. So, just keep your eye on the prize. Don't give up. Keep the faith and the hope alive. And keep moving forward. Don't let anything stop you. So, let's see. What other message do we have? Oi. All right. Spiritual strength again. That flew out. I just had that card. Spiritual strength. And I know exactly where to find it. This card is coming forth to give you encouragement and to remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever it is that you're working on. This final spirit card represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle, but now is not the time to give in. Instead, tap into all your inner reserves for that one final push to achieve the desired outcome. You've been through so much to get to this point, and even though you may have acquired some scars from the battle, you're wiser and stronger for it. The enlightenment you've aligned, you've aligned, the enlightenment you've gained will be an invaluable resource. You may also notice that you're experimenting with different things in your life at this time. Of all these exper, all of these experiences feed your spirit and offer you knowledge for the future. So it seems like you're experimenting with different things in your life at this time. And these here, they're things that are going to help you for the future. However, whatever it is that you do, please do it to raise the vibration. Raise your vibration, okay, babies? Do it so that we can be the best version of ourselves. Do it. So that we can be the change that we want to see in this world. We need to get this done, okay? I love you guys. You take care and we will chat soon.